Hey pals, it's Fernand here again, and today we got a special video featuring the new Panasonic GH5. We literally just received this the other day, and we're just going to do a quick little unboxing, go over some of the features that the Panasonic GH5 has, and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to show you guys, especially me being an old user of the GH4, so let's get right into it. So, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. So, right over here, that's a little... Ooh. So right away we got basic instruction manuals. Probably get into that in a little second or we'll read it later. And bam, looks like we got our main components. So we have our new GH5 strap. Put this to the side over here real quick. Looks like right here we have what we're all really here for, the actual camera itself. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's put the camera to the side. We'll open it up in just a second, but let's get everything that's inside the box first. AC cable adapter or AC cable. We have a USB 3, and what's really cool about this one, this is a C, and it's pretty cool that Panasonic put a newer USB onto the GH5. We have the charger for our GH5. And one last but not least, actually two little things. This is supposed to keep your cables from uh, not getting wrangled. And last but not least, it's kind of stuck down there, it is our battery. Yeah. Okay, pals, our moment of truth. We got the GH5. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's nicely snugged in there. Put that to the side, and here we go. GH5, I really like how it feels. You can see it's like it's a little bigger than the GH4, but fits really comfortably in your hand, no issues there. All right, pal, so everything right in front of me is what's included within the rental. If you need the USB cable that comes within the box, just let us know and we'll include it free of charge. So, right now we have the AC cable, charger, and battery, GH5 camera strap, and of course the GH5 body. And just from looking at the body, one thing I can point out right away is that there is no camera flash. The GH4 had a camera flash, this GH5 does not. I've always used it for video, so I never had a problem with it. Also, something that I'm pretty excited about, right over here we have two memory card slots. GH4 only had one, now we got two. I'm pretty excited about that. There's a few different ways you can go into it, like overflow or have one separate for video and pictures. So I'm excited to test that out. GH5, of course, has the tilt out screen that rotates. And it's also a touch screen too. On the left side of the camera body, we have a mic input, a headphone jack. Something I'm pretty excited about is that there's an actual full size HDMI input. Normally there's like, you gotta use an adapter or an HDMI mini to get your HDMI inputs, but this one has a full HDMI and the USB 3.0 type C input. Camera feels pretty strong. It's not like flimsy, it's metal. And the rubber grip just, it just feels really natural to hold it, it feels like very snug in, like it's not gonna go anywhere once you hold it. All right, another thing I noticed is that the record button is actually located right up here, near to where your shutter button will be if you're taking a photo. So there you got your record button right next to it. Not really too hard to get to. The dial over here, it's not, it's a little, you gotta push this little button to lock it into place and then if you wanna move it, you gotta lock it again. The camera is really similar to the GH4. There's just a few things that are different like the HDMI and the new record button and the two slots, but it's, it's, it fits just how the old camera used to fit in my hand at least. I used it more than a handful of times and I feel like this is something that I'm gonna get used to. 
super, super duper quick. Another thing about the body is inside the camera, you can't really see it, but this camera has built in image stabilization or IBIS for short. So it doesn't matter whatever lens you put on it, it doesn't have IS, it will now have IS because the camera has it built in into the sensor. So that's a pretty cool feature. There you have it pals, that's what the GH5 looks like. I'm pretty excited in the next few days to test out some of the new features. Some things I'm looking forward to is the 4K at 60 frames. I'm also looking forward to 4K 10-bit 422. Normally to get that kind of quality in a camera this small or a camera of this price range, you gotta run an HDMI into an external recorder. So it's pretty cool that you can record that straight onto the SD card. So I'm pretty excited to test that out. Also pretty excited to test out how will it do with low light. And one thing I'm really, really excited for on this camera is that last time in order to get 4K, you always had a crop in. This time you get exactly, you get the full sensor. So no more going from like a 24 to a 30 millimeter. You get it. full readout. So in conclusion, pals, there's your quick first look at the GH5. Once again, we're super happy and excited to have this camera in house. The starting four day price for this camera is only $94. So go ahead and get your reservations in quick. And also while you're at it, make sure to check out all of our new inventory on our website. See you later, pals.